¿Qué pasa, Stays Toros? Y bienvenidos de nuevo a otro episodio de The Center Beacon. That's right, everyone. TCB, disponible en español, when I feel like it. Yes, that's right. Okay, so this weekend we are talking about Test Server 2.0.0, something slightly different than last 2.0.0. Uh, you can see improved squad system. What they mean by this is we now have squad chat, um, plus a little bit more. But the squad chat is really awesome because you can now form a squad out of any uh, makeup or composition you want. Random players. Uh, if your clan has multiple subclans like mine does, um, anybody in your squad you can now chat with and coordinate with. Um, further, there are also some additional things in there that we'll get into. Uh, they're also doing the new heavy weapon and uh, the improved targeting, which is it's all kind of the same as it was. So uh, coming to you live here from the hangar of Iron and Pain, we are going to choose some bots and get this thing started. Um, got to choose my Galahad. Uh, still got my crush on this guy, saving up my gold. I think I'm almost have enough to pick up one of these and then begin the slow and painful process of leveling him to 12. Uh, slow, painful, and expensive. Did I mention expensive? Good grief. Um, silver is a real issue, especially for me right now. I just upgraded a uh, Orkin to level 12. And geez, the thing was 23 million silver. And it was like I had about 23 million silver. So uh, I'm probably going to have to uh, you know, get a second job to support my robot habit. Um, you know, maybe a little cardboard sign will work for silver something. Um, it's rough. Uh, they they kind of have mentioned in places where they're sort of aware of how uh, earning silver is uh, very difficult right now. So I'm hoping that they are going to address that. Maybe, you know, coming up here, give us some more opportunities to earn a little bit more. Because the way that it is now, unless you had a huge uh, bankroll from playing for the last like year and change or whatever it's been on Android um, in the days where silver wasn't as difficult to earn, unless you've got that huge stockpile that you're sitting on, it's it's kind of difficult to upgrade, especially because now they're on a faster pace to uh, put out like more robots, more weapons. You know, you can kind of see the clip that we've been at here lately has been pretty rapid. You know, new bots, I think what there's been like five or so you know, in the last like several months, they've got, you know, new weapons coming out that you're, I think you're going to want. I know I'm looking forward to that new heavy weapon that uh, we're going to uh, take for a spin again here today. Um, so yeah, there, there are things that you're going to need silver, regardless of whether it costs workshop points or, you know, if they break our little hearts again and make these things cost gold, you are going to need money. No info on the uh, prototype uh, weapon yet. Always like to check just to see, like, you know, what they say. Um, I don't think physically anything's changed. You know, you can see here uh, it, it looks like the same scale, the same model. I think it's the same base model they've been running. So no changes there. We're going to load up a few more of these bad boys on the Furies just because I insist on actually testing the crap that they have to test. Unlike many players you will see that I will face here shortly who run... It seems like everything but what we're supposed to actually be testing. So um, kind of frustrating sometimes uh, when you're getting your face melted, you know, by something that we all know to be already, you know, imminently effective. But that's OK. Um, so let's uh, let's get this stuff loaded up here. Um, just going to throw a couple more prototypes up on this guy. And then you can see off to the side there, I've prepared a griffin. Um, just wanting to run the Molots on this guy because if you checked out my last video, I, I have a sneaking suspicion that Molots and Punishers um, are, are going to be real good. When they finally, I, I'm not really sure what's taking so long, but when they finally decide to push these things to live, with the increased firing rate after three seconds and the 2.6 times damage multiplier to physical shields. 
I think these things are going to be good. And I, uh, like I was saying on the last video, I think it's going to stretch that battlefield out. You are going to see uh, engagement distances uh, extended. Um, you're going to see more firing from behind cover. Um, you can see here, I'm kind of checking out the little, uh, I think I actually clicked on like, you know, the, the clan feature. I was trying to get to this. So you can see here, and I'll show it in more detail a little bit later, they've changed things. You know, you can kind of see more clearly who the little squad leader guy is. And what's neat now is you can actually click on their profile. So if you want to squad up and you're about to launch and maybe you're only trying to run like say silver, I know, God forbid you're seal clubbing, you disgusting human, but you know, say you're trying to run in like a target tier because that's all your buddies have. Well, now you can see if somebody's got a hot bot, you know, if they have weapons and it's like, Hey, whoa, bro, you're running like a level 12 bot with level 12 weapons. You're going to drag us into gold or what have you. Now you can see that. So that's a really good change. It's going to make it a lot easier and you're not going to get those, you know, surprise matches where it's like, you know, hey, wait a second, you know, we all have like Cossacks and Patons and it looks like everyone across from us has a Rhino, you know. Um, so we're going to crank this up here on Springfield and we're going to start with the Triple Reaper. Uh, you heard it here first. That's what I've dubbed this thing, the Reaper, Triple Reaper Fury. Um, dialing in my sensitivity here a little bit. Uh I'm not sure where I like this thing. I think I like it a little bit lower than halfway. It has little like, you know, uh, like little invisible ticks that you can kind of like, you can feel when you slide the thing over, like little presets. Um, so you're gonna have to play with that thing and see what kind of sensitivity you like, but it, it seems to be working okay for me. You can see I'm putting some hate down on this dude. Now, uh, forewarning, this is not me, uh, nor my phone, nor my video capturing, nor nothing. Uh, they had massive problems with lag on test server uh, these last few days. I think I jumped on there the first day it was available for this one. Um, so this is, uh, this is from the other night, and it lagged out hardcore, especially uh, the longer the match went on, the worse the lag became. It was pretty annoying. It made it difficult to kind of really do anything. So I apologize if this uh, if this ends up coming out pretty laggy looking, and it's kind of like, hey, what's going on? Is this guy, you know, what is he using? Like, you know, like a like a, a droid phone from you know eight years ago to play this? No, it's it's the normal Galaxy S7 that I run on, um, which runs the live server super smooth. Really, probably couldn't be much a better experience. Uh, but they just, I don't know what was going on. You know how if you've run test server at all, you know that almost every single weekend they encounter some sort of technical issue. So uh, try to do a reload here, uh, getting eaten up by uh, some malots and whatnot. And I know it looks like everything's in slow motion here kind of. Um, but uh, the interesting thing here is you can see uh, I get the one, two, three combo from the, uh, the guy running the uh, trebuchets, triple trebuchets on that Fury. And even though he's completely not paying attention to what we're actually testing, I'm kind of glad that he ran that because you can see how the, the trip treb Fury is going to have a place on the battlefield again. I know it kind of already does. I have one too. I like the thing, even though it takes forever for you to get like, you know, a full charge shot um you know reloaded on that thing but you can see where like i've been saying in previous videos this particular weapon system with 800 meters range they're filling the gap so now that this guy is going to be putting it on you know trident furies and trident carnages they're sitting at 600 meters because this guy has 800 meter range now well that's where that triple trebuchet fury comes into play with uh you know whatever it is a thousand eleven hundred meters plus range you can see how these like support bots are going to start to kind of, you know, make more sense or there's going to be a more complete, you know, array of ranges on the battlefield where you're going to have to account for that guy. You know, if you've been playing gold at all, you know, chances are, you know, you encounter about, you know, uh, 11 D5 uh, triple trident furies uh you know in every game you play i know i do and it's like good lord like you know everybody and their mother has one of these things and for good reason they're awesome so that's why i'm excited about this thing with the uh the reaper with the range and the firepower although it still looks like the rate of fire has been reduced it's hard to tell because this is so darn laggy right now um it's still going to be effective and those tridents are going to have to find cover when you start putting it on them with this thing uh, because you've got the range advantage, you know. 
And uh, some of this here, the reason this video is kind of longer is because I ran into several engagements that I liked and I kind of wanted to showcase for you guys. So for those of you who aren't on test server, you're going to get a good idea of what's in store. You kind of saw where I had a, uh, a Lancelot across from me and I think that's maybe another one. But you saw where I actually ate up his shield. And a lot of people don't realize this, but like physical shields that are front mounted, you can actually, depending on the difference in elevation between you and the target, you can shoot under or and around those shields. You can do it to rhinos, you can do it to uh, the lancelots. So if you've got, a, if he's got a little bit of elevation on you, you can actually put those rounds or whatever it is you're using will kind of slip up under the shield and you can do the same thing to the rhino. I know I, uh, I think I mystified a guy the other day on live where it was on Yam and Tau, and he was up on top of uh, basically this spawn point, and we were pushing into their spawn, and I was coming up underneath him, and he had his shield up the whole time, but I was just melting him down, and, you know, I could kind of almost, like, you know, like, hear the cries across, you know, the, the vast reaches of the internet, where he's probably going, how in the hell is this guy hitting me? I've got my shield up. But that shield has a hitbox, and that hitbox, you know, it, it owns a certain space um, you know, and if you can get around it, well then guess what? You get around it. So I kind of wanted you guys to see that there where I was kind of like, you know, I was, I was kind of either cracking that guy's shield or even getting around it a little bit there. So it's going to be good with this weapon. Um, I'm finding this thing effective on almost everything. Um, you're going to see later too, where, uh, you know, I kind of, uh, I, I burned down some energy shields pretty well. Um, you're getting in through the physical shields. The physical shields, remember, are taking that 2.6 times increased damage. So, you know, the, the, the days of the Rhino just kind of uh, absolutely, you know, uh, indifferently running to center and sitting on top of a beacon and just soaking up like, you know, uh, just, you know, gigawatts of damage. Those days are maybe coming to an end because they're giving us uh, some more weapon choices. You can see here, facing off against some more lances, I'm finally gonna get my face eaten off here, um, kind of getting a little uh, pincher attack here with uh, guys running lances. I'm getting run over by uh, my, my own partner here, who's so eager to get into the fight, he runs me down in his own lance. Um, we're gonna speed up the action here again. This is a link through your video, and if you guys don't like, like, you know, the 20, 30, 40 minute videos, let me know. I normally try to keep things around 10 minutes, but like I said, there were so many neat little things here that I just kind of wanted to show them all. Um, so please, you know, leave me a comment. It's like, hey, dude, I don't have time to watch 40 minutes of you blather on about like, you know, the 18th test server in a row. Then let me know, because if you don't tell me, I won't know. Um, I will assume, you know, uh, that, that, you know, some of this is, is entertaining or, or you know, uh, informative until you guys tell me different. So you can see here, of course, you know, going up against the double carnage or I'm sorry, the double thunder carnage is never really a good idea. When he's looking at you, you know, you're pretty much dying. Um, but you can see here, uh, I got the fire hose effect going on and I am getting some good effects on the target. You know, you can see I kind of ate up that Lance who, uh, you know, he he was uh, kind of uh, bladed to me, you know, didn't have his shield facing me. Um, and here's one of those things that I do uh, because I'm stupid, you know, 62% of the time, like, you know, I will go point blank range into the double barrel shotgun carnage with like, you know, 12 rounds left in the magazine. Um, I can't help it. I'm, I'm, I'm wired that way uh, like a caveman. That dude, uh, he burns off the rest of my shield there and I'm going to get to put a little more hate on him. You know, you can see I drop what's left of his shield there. The the energy shields on especially this bot, um, you know, the, the rate of fire that you get coming out of those uh, punishers, you know, that's a medium and two lights. That's a lot of firepower. Um, you know, you can see it burned off the rest of his shield. And I got, you know, got a few hits in on, uh, you know, the thing's actual chassis. But here I am apparently last man standing. Uh, I know uh, you probably think this is a live game. Uh, this is what they've been looking like lately thanks to Matchmaker or lack thereof. Um, everything I play now on live, it seems like it comes down to like five on two, six on one, you know, and here's another example on test server. For whatever reason, my team disappeared. Um, and, you know, because I'm running test bots, you know, I don't exactly have a like ace in the hole here for the end of this game. Um, you know, I go from like the 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 Mollet Griffin to the, you know, uh, ranged, you know, Leo, you know, destroyer that, you know, is getting uh, absolutely shredded 
by, of course, dudes running Lancelots that are probably like, I'm never going to have 5,000 gold on live, so I need to, like, you know, get a taste of this bad boy here on test server. But, you know, you can kind of see that, you know, up close and personal like that with all the splash and the thunder, you know, no, I don't want to exit the game. It, it, it almost seems like they uh, they included some sort of shake feature, like you can shake out of the app. I don't know if that's always been a thing. I have a Samsung, so it has, like, you have, like, all the alerts and crap turned off, so that stuff doesn't mess with you. Um, so, yeah, so the end of that game, not so good, but this is good. Um, now I can, like, look into my little battle history here. You can see they changed the buttons a little bit. Um, but you can send invitations. These guys can squat up, and then you get to talk to them, which is really cool because, um, you know, if nothing else, you can, like, tell these guys that, like, you know, you've been battling with that maybe you don't know. They just send you the random invite. Hey, thanks for inviting me, you know, a uh, good game. So they've been missing this feature for a while, and they kind of just sprung it on us. You know, I didn't know it was forthcoming, but you can see it, it's also giving you the additional information of invitation sent. So um, kind of everybody is on the same page with what's going on. I know if you guys are like uh, like me, you know, you sit there sometimes squatting up with your buddies, and you're sitting there for like 10 minutes while the squad leader tries to get guys to join. Well, now you can see that, okay, uh, not only has the invitation been sent, but everyone can see that. Like, everyone sees that. So that guy that I invited who did join, he sees that, hey, these two guys have been invited as well, and maybe we're waiting on them. Um, another cool feature you can see down in the right-hand uh, corner of the screen is transfer leadership. So say you've got a really good group running, and somebody, say like the group leader, starts to draw uh, what we lovingly call wife aggro, um, and he's got to go suddenly, you know, maybe never to be seen again. Um, he can transfer leadership of the group so you don't have to just, you know, split the whole thing, lose everybody. And you know how it is with like this online stuff. As soon as you lose somebody's attention for like 12 seconds, you know, it's over. And then that epic, you know, group you had is, is gone. And then, you know, you go back to losing 15 games in a row. So that's really cool, too, that you can transfer leadership. So if you have to bail, you hand it off to your buddy and they can keep things rolling. So you can see the text feature, it's it's exactly the same as like your clan chat. And you'll see later on, I couldn't capture it here because I couldn't get an invite to my little test server clan until later in this video, but you will see it just gives you tabs to work with and I'll talk about it when that pops up later. Um, but you know, you can see you got a little, you got a little message there, you go back to that thing. Um, now what that guy's asking about, has anyone gotten extra gold for winning in squad mode? They, uh, you'll see here when we launch another battle on like the launch screen, they, they've got like where there used to be the little like, you know, like tips that, you know, weren't very good tips. They were kind of obvious, um, you know, not so good tips. Um, they kind of have some, some little message there that says something to the effect of, uh, you know, win extra gold as part of a squad, kind of like that little, uh, tournament thing they ran. If you guys remember from a few months ago on Android, where if you were squatted up, you were getting like an additional two gold. So I think if you killed it and you were like, you know, outplayed all your buddies, you were looking at like 14 gold instead of 10. So now no one has said anything. You can see it there at the bottom of the screen. Win the battle as part of the squad and receive additional gold rewards. No one said anything about that officially. It wasn't in their little like, you know, brief that they give you in the email type thing of what's going to be on test. So that's an interesting feature. And I know a lot of people have been asking for that because gold is another one of those resources that isn't very easy to come by. Um, I'm kind of missing the radar screen. I kind of like that, you know, where the little radar screen goes boop, boop, you know, and it's like you think that it's searching for guys and it's like the more dots you see, the more likely you are to get a game. I have no idea if that's actually, you know, a physical representation of, you know, who's around me playing or not, but I kind of like that. They took it out, whatever. Um, trying to eat up that Rogatka. Um, and you can see, uh, you know, somebody running the Trident that we already know is awesome, bro. Thank you um, for, you know, ruining this first bot for me. But yes, we know the Trident is amazing. Please buy several of them and max them out. Um, so I ate a lot of splash there uh, all up in my grill. And, you know, just trying to get a sense of these Punishers. You can see at that range, we're at about 300 meters. You can see most of that is hitting that dude. Um, I think that's a Lance. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on this someone. Like, I work off of, like, a little preview screen. So it's not exactly, you know, the 1180p that uh, you guys are getting here on YouTube. But, uh, you know, I, 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 I impart a little bit of damage to that guy. You can kind of see where those shields 
you know, they do crack a bit, you know, under the withering fire of, you know, these new upgraded, you know, ballistics on these things. Um, so here, this is that bot that I've been talking a lot about, the Leo with the heavy and the Molots. Really liking this thing, um, you know, obviously not the best choice for, you know, uh, within 300 meters coming out of your own spawn. But if you can get this guy set up, you know, in a good spot on a bigger map... Um, it's pretty nice. And I talked about this last video, but I want to point it out again real quick. Do you see the overlap? The heavy weapon system still has rounds in the magazine. You can see I still have a few shots there while the Molots are on a reload. So kind of like, you know, if, if they leave everything alone on this thing, um, pay attention to that when it goes live because it is really nice. I've, I've used it. I've played, you know, test server darn near every weekend since they started doing it on Android. And I've, and I've run it every weekend since they started this new prototype testing. And it's really cool. It's really nice to have that overlap. Um, I've gotten kills from it. I've been able to finish guys off while those, uh, you know, a little bit smaller, lighter caliber Molots are, are on a reload. So going to come out, going to gonna try, going to try, I should say, come out here and uh, snag up this uh, center beacon. Now, there's somebody who's actually doing some testing. They got like a quad, I don't know, looks like a Molot or something, uh, Patton, you know, so kudos to that guy, whoever you were for actually testing stuff, you know, seeing how effective that bot can be. Cause you know, you will run into those in gold the guys run those, uh, the quad aphids. I hate you. Um, I'm just kidding. I don't hate you. Um, I just, you know, strongly dislike you. Um, they're effective. You know, if that little guy, if he can hide, he doesn't have a lot of hit points. You know, if he runs into a rocket rhino or something, you know, you're going to eat that dude up in about 0.5 seconds. But if that guy has cover and he knows what he's doing and he's walk and he's rocking those quad aphids, ooh, it's annoying. Um, so it could be a very similar case with the new improved ballistics of the Molots and Punishers. You could see that quad set up on patents in gold, and it may put a damper on your game day. Um, so again, I you know I did a video just the other day about that kind of like hey what to buy next like you know what should you be looking at what should you be saving resources for and I really think these Molots and Punishers, uh, the Galahad of course which I sadly still do not own but I'm getting closer um, I think they're going to be good. So here we're rocking the uh, Triple Reaper Fury um, and you can see. He's putting down some pretty good damage. You can see that Lance is taking damage. Now, I believe he's in a crossfire, but I am certainly doing, you know, uh, a fair share. I think I get the kill there. Um, so even with that front-mounted shield, you know, you're still getting effects on the target. And and I'm starting to almost kind of think that the, basically like, you know, the, the, the geometry of the layout of the three heavies on top of the Fury it's almost like that center one is going into the shield, but those two to the left and the right are almost like those rounds are impacting like either side of the shield. If you look at the lance, the, the shield is actually somewhat narrow in the torso area. Um, so, you know, maybe that's having some effects. Maybe I'm imagining that. Uh, there's a uh, super sweet failed noob jump uh, up on top of the building. I don't really know why I tried to do that because it always annoys me when guys get up there. And they put their griffin in like, you know, what's kind of a neat spot, but it's normally almost useless. Um, so that didn't work out. So it's going to take me about 28 minutes to walk around the corner here and try to do almost nothing as we lose this game as well. Um, you know, it's difficult to win on uh, on test server, <laughs> you know, especially when it seems like uh, red team doesn't test anything. Um, you hear me, red team? So, uh, you know, take the hint there. So uh, pretty sweet loss right there. Um, and, uh, played with my buddy there. We were squatted up, uh, you know, going, uh, what are we like? Oh, for two now. So another reason this video is so long is because we just couldn't give up. We couldn't let it go. We had to try to get a win. I mean, I can't, you know, like a lot of videos you guys might see, they strangely never show losses. Um, kind of like if you, uh, you know, if you're in something like line chat or, or some sort of messenger thing, you got those guys in your clan. And I know you do that never post losses they're like only wins and only wins when like the guy scored like 82 million points or something. So, you know, uh, but if, you know, you uh, like to beat yourself up like I do, I only post losses because I need someone to share uh, the misery uh, with me. Um, so you can see here, I can check out this guy's profile. You know, I can take a look at like what he's running to see if like, hey, we're kind of matched up. Um, 
uh, yeah, test server does not support uh, split screen view, so don't even think about it. Um, so yeah, um, and I actually have a couple of videos coming up, uh, kind of just you know me sharing uh, my my solo gold misery with you guys. So just uh, look for that in the next few days. Uh, you might want to take your meds, uh, front load those medications uh, prior to watching. Cause I'm just going to depress you. I'm just going to absolutely make you like ready to like, you know, jump off of something. Uh, hopefully just your couch, nothing too high. Um, you know, kind of like I always tell my wife that, you know, I'm going to jump out the uh, window and, uh, I'm on the first floor. So please don't, uh, jump off anything higher than your couch, but, uh, please do watch those next couple of videos because I know you guys have had games like I have where your buddies aren't on, you're running at an odd hour, you know, you're, you're running during, you know, stupidly like I do during like prime time for everyone, you know, to be on all the great clans, all the like, you know, best players and you get your face eaten, you know, pretty much game after game. So, uh, I'm going to do a little video series on that so we can all share in each other's misery and pain. Um, so you can see I'm just chatting back and forth with my, uh, you know, random buddy that I just kind of like, you know, met and invited and, you know, saw a second ago, I transferred him leadership, you know, like I have to bail out, you know, my wife's getting after me here. You take the squad. Okay, bro. You know, good games. <clears throat> so he tries to invite some other guys. I can see everything he's doing. I can see, you know, who's been invited. You can see who has been, uh, like they're, you know, like invitation rejected or, you know, what have you. Um, the other cool thing here is too, where the radar screen isn't anymore. You can also see who's actively in the squad. Um, and I think it may be in a little, in a clip here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, you can still chat. So if your game, if it takes 45 seconds, you know, you can type in some last minute like, you know, hey, you know, get beacons, noobs, or whatever it is that you guys want to like, you know, kind of chit chat about. So it's it's really kind of nice. I know a lot of you guys like we do, we run comms and stuff too. But I think for like random play, especially solo play, this is going to be a really great feature. And it isn't just squad chat. You can see the stuff that we've already talked about. They've added in a lot of other items. So here we go. Third time's a charm. Me and this guy are going to try and smash this game and get a win um, because it seems like most of the time I do these test server videos, uh, I friggin' lose all the time. Um, and then unfortunately, because I record this stuff and then put it up for you guys to watch it and mock and ridicule me, I mean, they're almost always losses. But again, that being said, I'm testing. So, you know, it totally doesn't count, but it kind of does. Um, so, you know, it, it, the, the extreme range of the Punisher is at 500 meters. Uh, nope, don't do it. <laughs> you can see right there a second ago, it pretty much all misses. Um, here's another guy not really running anything particularly useful, but, you know, I guess it's good because you can fight against, you know, the stuff you're going to see on live, but he's got what looks like a rocket rhino or so. And you can tell, you know, I put a little bit of damage on him there. I mean, granted, he was taking, like, you know, what we would call a cone of fire, um in military parlance, uh, pardon me for uh, delving into that, but it's relative. And uh, taking a coat of fire there, but I was doing some, you know, having some pretty good effects on the target. Um, I got a, uh, I don't know, I can't tell what this is, like another Galahad or something. And I'm trying to eat a shield off there. I think uh, the Zeus helped me out uh, quite a bit there. Um, so you can see, you know, this guy, you know, expose myself, shield up. You know, need some speed. I want to recap the center beacon. You know, okay, nobody's looking at me. You know, I've got all my maneuverability and speed. And, you know, then you start to see, okay, like, you know, here here comes some dudes. You know, let me get the shield out again. Um, and, you know, sit there for 30 seconds with 12 rounds left in the magazine. Um, and, and only then begin the reload when I'm now pretty much surrounded. But, you know, again, things that you can learn from. Don't do what I do. Um... So uh, here's another one of those little things. The reason this video went so long, you can see I'm the only one on that guy and I'm eating his shield pretty effectively. You can see I took it down by almost two thirds there. And the cool thing, you know, I'm sure you picked up on this, but um, just a friendly tip. If, if you're not used to encountering the energy shields, uh, all you got to do is hit the corner of the thing. You know, uh, whether you're running a Thunder or this Punisher or whatever, if, if you get the dude at like the, you know, where his toe is, it's hitting that shield and it's eating it up. And that's one of the things I actually don't like about those energy shields is in a lot of cases they're too big. You can see that guy was running an Ansel, which is a cool option. You know, if you had a maxed Ansel, which I'm not really sure who does, but somebody out there must. Um, 
it, it's a cool option for the Lancelot. And, you know, it's it's a really cool bot. I like the you know all the mounting hard points. You know, it gives you some some interesting options. So there's another one I think, and I think he's got the prototype, and I just kind of eat him up from the side there with uh, with the fire hose effect of this thing. So uh, shockingly, we're actually winning this game. Um, not really sure why that's happening because I'm too busy talking and uh, you know not really paying attention to the action. You're going to see this guy, just like funny things you see on test server, that is a shoots with a trebuchet. And uh, virtually since that guy pulled that bot, he remains in that corner. If you just kind of keep one eyeball on the right side of the screen, he just kind of tucks in under that bridge uh, like a little stinky troll with that shoots and that trebuchet, and he just kind of like, you know, pops out, takes a shot, goes back, he'll pop out again, take a shot, go back. I'm not sure if that was like psychological warfare or what. I found it incredibly annoying, and it made me want to shoot that guy, but I had, you know, all of his bigger brothers and sisters over here to worry about, um, you know, trying to get some effects on these guys. Uh, you know, as we're, we're kind of holding it down, you know, it's I'm kind of starting to get a good feeling about this game, like we're actually going to win, and then here comes the shoots again. You know, and he's just kind of like, hey, you know, I got a trebuchet, like, you know, in, in 23 seconds, like, this thing's going to be charged up and I'm going to melt your face. And then, of course, you can see directly across is something to be concerned about, which looks like a trip uh, trebuchet fury, which is kind of why I hang to, you know, the, the inside of my cover here, because that dude will probably knock my shield off in one shot. And then there's that damn shoots again, you know, and so I'm kind of like, you know, I'm just, I'm kind of putting some fire on him, like, hey, I know you're there, you weirdo. You know, honestly, like, who runs a shoots with a trebuchet on test server? Like, I, I'm not really sure what that guy was after with that setup and why you would keep it for so long. Um, I, I don't know if that guy ran another bot. Um, you know, I'm busy over here trying to hold down center and, uh, you know, eat some of these guys up. So here's, so here's more frontal shield action. You can see I'm getting effects on the target. I am probably getting underneath that guy's shield, which he doesn't realize uh, from the angle. This is that angle that I explained earlier where I am below him, you know, to a certain degree. And some of those rounds, not all of them, but some of them, especially as, you know, the, the basically, you know, what you would call like the spread pattern, um, you know, kind of it spreads out and it kind of dances around all over the target. But a lot of those rounds are basically getting up underneath that guy's skirt. Um, wait, can I say that? This is, this is a family channel. Um, forget I said that last thing. I'll edit that out later. Um, but they kind of get up under there. His kilt, if you will. I'm not sure. Maybe that's, I don't know. That might actually be less appropriate. Um, wanted to show you this one too. This is why I set this guy up. I think the Malot Griffin is going to be cool. I mean, you can see, if nothing else, you can just sit there and stare at all of the empty shell casings flying out, which was pretty much what I was doing. Um, you know, hence my poor aiming. Uh, it's laggy, so, you know, you kind of get like this uh, weird, you know, slow-mo effect. I, I didn't do that. My editing skills aren't that, you know, elite. Um but uh, it's really cool, and I think now with the improved ballistics, it's going to be a lot more effective. You can see that, you know, almost immediately out of spawn, one jump and you're back in the fight with the range on these things, you know, 800 meters. Um, this game is looking like we might eke out a victory here. Um, you know, it only took three goes. But, you know, that's what's cool about, uh, you know, the range on these things is, you know, that guy's he's 500 plus meters away and I can get effects on him. Um, you know, I can kind of make him think about what he's doing. And, you know, you can see there when he blades to me, you lose the shield. I can't remember. I think that was like a Galahad or something. And as soon as he looked at like my buddy across the way there, you can see what he's looking at. I mean, I just start to rip him apart, you know, when he loses the, uh, you know, the benefit of the shield because he turned away. You can see where these uh, these Molots are. They're going to be really nice. So that's my recommendation. I got some more of those videos coming out too, where I'm going to kind of like you know maybe try to get ahead of the uh, the trend and show you some other things. So here we got a Lance, and uh, you know my personal least favorite, the uh, Fujin. Um, I think he's got. Uh, I think he's running three Terrans on there. Uh, very nasty customer. And you can see how that shield burns off, it recharges, I burn it off, it recharges. So so take that into consideration, the, the shield on the Fujin works different than the one on the Carnage. I don't know if they have numbers for it, but you can tell that the regen on that thing is still pretty good. When it first went to live, it, it was actually pretty insane. It was kind of ridiculous, but 
Um, it regens quick. And I just wanted to be able to show you that particular little uh, exchange. So that way you get an idea if they leave these Molots alone, these Punishers alone, that's what you're going to be kind of looking at. So uh, awesome, we actually won. Uh, you could see there in the little thing, uh, before I start chatting there, it says Maverick has joined the squad. So you're gonna get, kind of get like a little alert that, hey, Maverick joined up, you know, and you can see the tabs there. Then uh, I got uh, popped into the clan and you've just got squad and clan tabs and you just click back and forth. Um, so, you know, you're in your little squad and maybe you're, you know, you're playing with some buddies who aren't in your clan or what have you, and you can just kind of tap back and forth and go, you know, over to your clan. And then here's one of my buddies where he's like, what's TCB? And I'm like, really, bro? Like, you know, it's you know, the center beacon. That's the name of my channel. But anyways, that's not important. Um, I'm going to tell him, uh, you know, here uh, exactly what TCB stands for. Uh, as if he didn't know already, which, you know, I guess actually he didn't. Um, so that's actually, I find that's kind of hurtful, actually, that he should know better. But anyways, um so uh, again, verified uh, lag was not me. It was guys I was playing with. It was uh, you know it was guys that uh, were in my clan that were also running test server uh, that night. You can see uh, it gives you a little notice like, hey, great, you know you've been promoted to squad leader. You know a, a squad of one right now, but uh, you know that's uh, that is kind of the gist of what I was trying to show you guys uh, this weekend. This guy's going to be very effective, um, liking it. You know, again, the mobility of the Griffin is killer. If you're not running these things in gold, you probably should be because they're pretty nice with almost any setup you want to do. Um, you know, here's uh, here's my Trip Reaper Fury. You know, I think this guy's going to be pretty good. I'm hoping maybe they give us the rate of fire back that things originally had the first time on test server because uh, it was absolutely amazing. But, you know, like, like so many good things, uh, not meant to last. Um, you know, the Leo setup, I mean, you know, that's, that's kind of it for this one. Um, you know, as always, I really appreciate you guys liking, subscribing. Uh, you know, if I get even one subscriber, that's a big deal to me, you know, I'm just, just a little tiny channel here. Um, so, uh, look for those series that I mentioned earlier coming up. And as always, I will see you next time at the center beacon.